war of words. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump exchanging jabs at the first presidential debate. Their body language spoke even louder. Here to decode the candidates' gestures, body language expert Chris Ulrich. Thank you so much for joining us. I got to start with the Thank one that you. stuck out the most, and people were memeing all, the shimmy. Hillary Clinton had the, huh. I can't even yeah. do it right. I mean, I tried, but we're going to see it here. She even put out a little tweet with it in there. I mean, anytime she was attacked, I noticed it was, it was almost like she was shaking off the attack. Um, she actually did it also in her debate with President Obama when he said, she, you're likable enough. And she, oh, that makes me feel right. so much better. What is that? It's, a, it's also called a wiggle. We'll see people do this as a way, Melissa, to uh, shake off stress if they're feeling it. Um, it's, when we're being attacked or we're being pressed or we're under an anxious moment, what we'll see from people is sometimes we get bound, we get really tight, right. and then that reflects in our bodies. But when she does that shimmy or the wiggle, it's literally like breaking off that tension. Okay. We also will say, jokingly, we'll say, uh, if you can't giggle it off, wiggle it off. And hmm. that's basically what she's doing in that particular clip there. What about the forced semi-psychotic smile that she had through the whole entire thing? <laughs> I mean, it was really kind of frightening. She's like, really, it's like, I'm, I'm happy. I'm having a great time, or I'm likable, or I, I don't. What was what was that? Well, a lot of times it, it's meant. I, I believe that the, the the effort was aimed at for her. A lot of times when she's on the end of a, an attack or she's getting ready, she has a very serious look on her face, right. almost like a scowl at times. So it's meant to soften. We saw Joe Biden do this in this debate with Congressman Ryan that he would laugh it off when the attack came. It also. But it speaks to uh, likability, and it also it has it appeared to be genuine at times because we don't see the bottom teeth and the corners of the mouth came up and the crow's feet of the eyes. We see that that can be read as a genuine smile, and it also is a way of saying you're not going to get to me, you're mm. not going to pressure me, I'm was not going to take the bait of your attacks. I think at times, I think the dangerous side of it was at times she held okay. that smile, like you mentioned, and yeah. when she did that, it would undermine it sometimes and have people wondering if it was authentic or is it too much. And okay, so I, I don't think want to run out of time it. without being mean to Donald Trump as well. So how about <laughs> okay. the sniffle? Everybody's talking about the sniffle, and also there was the crouch forward. Normally he was tall, broad, and open in the past yeah, debates, but in this one, yeah. he was sniffling and he was very much crouched forward. What do you make of those? Well, excellent observations. The sniffle, by not addressing it, if he, I don't know this, I'm not a doctor, but if, but if he, if he was, had a cold, he could have shared that with us, it would have made it a non-factor. But by not addressing it, the constant sniffling off mic when she was speaking, it's a distraction. It, it gets in the way of his message or when she's speaking, and, and it, it becomes a Twitter sensation. And then the, the, uh, the same thing with his crouch. He's, in, he's imploding. He's getting smaller in his body language. And that anger, he, he took every hook that she threw him in terms of baiting him. And so we see the anger. She, he should have wiggled. And yeah. he, you know, it, you know, it wiggled her off too, right? Well, maybe, I mean, maybe they'll both be out there dancing their way through the next beat. <laughs> we'll just be watching from the sidelines like these people are insane. How did we That's get down right. to these two, right? Chris, you were fantastic. We're going to bring you back next time. Thank you. We appreciate it. I hope so.